Hello everybody, it's Mirialda here once again, and welcome to a big giant box with two figures in it. Yes, it's that time again. It is the Kurumi Hall. Yes. So when AmiAmi sent me the shipping quote, I figured one of three things. One, either their boxes are huge. Two, the DHL shipping discount got removed or whatever. Or three, they decided to use their biggest box and put in a tree's worth of paper. Well, I think it's option three because this is a 140 size box. I can't spin it because I'm still working from home, still got the computers in the way. But yeah, it's a big giant box. So let's go ahead. Let's see, how do we want to do this? Since I can't spin it, open it like this. So some people have also said that they have ordered one of these Kurumis and they still have not gotten an invoice from AmiAmi. So I'm kind of glad that I have them in my hands already. Okay, so that is open. Let's see, do this so that I can hide my address. We have the AmiAmi thank you card. So it's a little comic again. Ah, figure. This, this figure is the figure, it's the figure version we've all been waiting for of the event still image kit of Bleh Chan that was released previously by the sculptor Bleh San, who's been in the spotlight lately. The coloring is by Bleh San, and spe whose specialty is the faint, delicate use of color. I can't get enough of that embarrassed look that Bleh Chan really shows. Ah, uh, to think that this wonderful item is being mass-produced. How should I display it? I should also make sure the lighting brings out the atmosphere and of the original still image. Ah, uh, after seeing the real thing, it is really adorable. Ah, uh, this is Blue Chan Blue's limited color edition. Ah, uh, this is this is this goes here on this shelf. Yes, and then there is the back little Amiko and look, what looks to be a Madoka. But, so now that we've done that and wasted enough time, let's just see how badly packaged this box is. How much extra space there's going to be. And of course, they have to be upside down because that's how I roll around here. So yeah, probably about a hand's worth of space on top. Quite, like three or four inches on each side so a lot of extra space in this box so we'll put this off to the side and we will pull out some figures the first one is Tokisaki Kurumi yes they're both Tokisaki Kurumi so this is Bunny Kurumi yes Bunny Kurumi and not the horrible looking one fourth bunny by freeing I really don't like that one but this is a 1 7 scale buddy figure of Tokisaki Kurumi from uh, Data Live. She is manufactured by Katakawa. She's part of the KD Cole collection. Uh, this Kurumi released on, uh, let's see, March 29th of 2021. And brand new at AmiAmi, Ami, I paid 14,320 yen, or $134.97. So there is the front of her box. There is the side of the box. And the font and everything I was thinking, it reminds me of like a 1950s or 40s, like little, what are they called? Like the poodle skirts and everything, that time period. And that, anyways, that's the back of the box. There's the other side. There is the top of the box. And there is the plain boring bottom. So that is Bunny Kurumi. She is quite the cutie. Put her off to the side. And we'll bring out the other Kurumi. So this one is made Kurumi. She is in a plastic bag, which is not taped or anything. So we shall post haste remove that. So yeah, there is made Kurumi. And she is honestly larger than I was expecting. Uh, again, Tokisaki Kurumi from Data Live. 
This is a non-scale figure. Looks to be a one sex, maybe maybe even a little larger. Um, she's manufactured by Union Creative, and this one was released technically on March 31st, even though she came into stock early. And at brand new at Amiyami, I paid 15,680 yen, or $147.78. So there is the front of her box. There is the side of her box. There's the back of the box. Focus, maybe? And then the other side. There's the top of the box. And a pretty plain, boring bottom. So, yay. That is made Kurumi. So, that is what this haul is. It is the two Kurumi figures. And so... I think it is a combination of options one and three because their boxes are pretty large and the shipping box was huge and full of paper. So just to give you an idea, DHL shipping for these two cost 14,250 yen or $134.31. That is basically the cost of made or bunny Kurumi. So I could have had an extra figure just for shipping. My other option was Surface Premium at 5,115 yen or $48.21, but I was not waiting another three, four, five, six year, months, whatever, to get these figures because I really, really wanted them. <laughs> so anyways, yes, we've got two, two Kurumis, a Maid Kurumi and a Bunny Kurumi. They are both very pretty. And I can't wait to get them open. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.